Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Angelica Fitzgerald and today we have a really fun hair styling tutorial using the Foxy Bay Rose Gold Pearl Wand, which I'm so excited to try this. I can't believe out of like all the Foxy Bay tools, I've never used this one before. It's such a popular one. I see so many cute tutorials on just curling wands in general that have the little like bubble pearl thing in it. Um, to be honest, I'm not a hundred percent sure what the little pearl bubbles do, like how they differ from a regular straight wand, which y'all know Foxy Bay wands, like their regular straight wands are my favorite. I love the 32 millimeter one and I love the 24, 20, 24, 22, whatever the smaller one is. I love them. They are my favorite go-to. Foxy Bay hands down creates the best wands. Plus, I did want to let y'all know at the beginning of this video, you can use my code FOXYANGELICA, which I will write down here for correct spelling, to get 60% off at Foxy Bay. Um, so it'll save you a big chunk of change there. But back to this guy. I'm going to be doing a tutorial using just this guy and only Foxy Bay styling tools. Um, just to give you all a little history on the hair for the day. I took a shower. I blow dried it upside down just to give it some volume. And by blow dry, I feel like I have to address this every single video. I did not style blow dry it with like a brush and do the curl. No, I just like flip my hair upside down and blow dried it. And that is it. It has heat protectant spray in it already. So we are good to go. Friendly reminder, if you ever style your hair with a hot tool, no matter if it's a straightener, a curler or a blow dryer, just like air heat, always use a heat protectant spray so that your hair can be as healthy for as long as possible. Did I get everything in that I wanted to say? I think so. Let's get right into this video. Oh, by the way, my new top, I'm like obsessed with. Um, I just got it in from Nordstrom's and I thought the colors are really fun and wanted to let y'all know since I've only shared this in one video so far since I'm very new to the platform, but if you're ever interested in any looks that I share on YouTube from one of my hauls, or even if it's not a clothing haul and it's like this, but you like the color of my top, I am on the Like to Know it app now. So I will link my Like to Know it handle down below. So if there's ever an outfit or a makeup item or anything you want to check out or shop, it is all in the Like to Know it platform. I'm like obsessed with the app now. Like it's my new favorite thing. So go give me a follow on the app. That would really support me as well. But anyways, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button while you're on YouTube. And that's enough talking. Let's get right into this pearl wand curling tutorial. <laughs> Alrighty, so real fast, while the pearl wand is heating up, this is how it looks outside of the box. It's so pretty. Um, I feel like Boxy Bay's hot tools from the Rose Gold collection are just like so gorgeous. Um, I do have this set to heat up to 380. I may turn it down. Typically I do 360 for all of my Foxy Bay tools, but I just wanna see how like the first curl turns out. If it's too like ringlety, then we will turn the heat down and we'll just go from there. Um, also, I'm gonna be using the Foxy Bay paddle brush, which is just so pretty. I've shared their like oval one, but I tend to like the square faced ones just because there's more bristles. It gets through thick and long hair better. My hair is super duper duper long. You can hardly even see it all in the video because <laughs> um, it's just so long. I'd have to back the camera up like way too far. So anyways, I tend to like the paddle like square brushes over the oval ones. Um, I'm always sharing my Chi one and these are the same size, um, but this one is super pretty. It obviously like matches the tools. So we love a good aesthetic look with our hair stuff. And then I'm also gonna be using their sea salt texture spray, which I've never used either. I feel like I use so, so, so many Foxy Bay items and products and tools. But like everything in this video is kind of new, which is exciting. Um, Cause eventually I'm gonna run out of Foxy Bait things to review. So anyways, this is all set. So I'm gonna curl it the same way I want my normal hair, which usually I like to curl as fast as possible. So I just take a piece. I don't really section off my hair when I'm doing like my everyday hairstyle. Um, run my brush through it. And let's see how this turns out. I think you're supposed to like just put it over the same way as like a normal wand and the little bumpies are supposed to 
make it like wavier, I think we'll see after this first curl. Now, friendly reminder, I have already sprayed my whole head with heat protectant spray, so I will not be spraying it every single piece, but don't forget to do that. That is a very important step. Okay. Holy smokes, this is very, this is like tight. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is like a tight curl like way tighter than I'm used to. So we're gonna lower this heat. I'm gonna bring it down to 350. We're gonna calm it down and I'm probably gonna pick up more hair since this is a smaller barrel and it does have the pearl bumps in it. So this is a big chunk of hair. Let's see how this one turns out. I get the feeling that since this is a smaller barrel, if you do like the looser curls like myself, you don't need to hold it in the barrel for that long. So I'm gonna let it go in like two seconds. I think I might've held the bang part for a little too long. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay, this is like a hybrid between an actual curler and a wand. That's that's like the vibe, that's the feeling I'm getting from this. So we'll, we'll just keep on doing our thing and see how it turns out at the end. But there's no like one perfect way to do this. I always say this with wanding as well. Like you just wrap your hair around it and that's that. You know, I really like love this top that I have on, but it's probably a really bad idea to wear this long sleeve or three quarter sleeve top with a hot tool video because I'm going to sweat. I always sweat with hot tools. So hopefully I'm not like a glistening disco ball with my makeup by the end of the video. <laughs> That's really pretty. Okay, okay, I think we got it now. So, little tip that I did not do with this bang piece, which we'll probably redo at like the very end, um, but you wanna put your hair in between every bubble, not just like on top of it and everything, otherwise the curl is very inconsistent. I'll show you what I mean by that because that's what I did my last curl and it turned out very pretty. So, just grabbing a chunk, I kid you not, there's no fancy way to do this. Just grab big chunks all over your head and you'll be good to go. Always brush your hair out too. So we're gonna do our best by putting it in between the bubbles. Like this, there we go. So most of the hair, as you can see, it's like in between the pearl part, which gives it a really pretty, if I can do the same thing as the last curl, it will look really pretty oh yeah that's really pretty it did the same thing okay that's the trick we figured out the trick <laughs> so just make sure you put your hair in between like the little pearl bubbles and that makes the curl really really pretty i kind of like with this curling wand even though it's small you can fit a lot of hair in it I feel like I'm going so incredibly fast right now. I'm already to the back of my head, so. I'm all about the speed if you've ever watched any of my other hair tutorials, so I appreciate that. <laughs> Ooh. So pretty. All right, I'm gonna kind of speed through some of the curls if I haven't already, so this video is not like forever long because now we kind of get how to do it. It's honestly not that much different than just regular wanding your hair. Um, I'm kind of noticing that the curls are a little more like bubbly looking. Like I clearly don't have curly hair, but you know those girls that have like naturally gorgeous curly hair, it kind of is giving more of a natural curly effect than like I went and curled my hair effect. If you kind of get what I'm saying. I mean, obviously on someone like me, you'll know I curled my hair because clear I have straight hair 
But if you have wavy hair, this will just look like a clean wave or a clean natural curl. So I'm kind of digging this. Okay, one little thing I wanted to do actually before I started on this side, um, because I saw a DM about this like a couple weeks ago in my Instagram DMs, is how do you curl your hair away from your face with a wand when you don't have the convenience of a clamp like on a curling iron? Um, so as y'all saw, I had the wand like this for uh, the right side of my head. So for the other side, I'm literally just gonna flip it. So you do have to change hands. Your right hand will have to hold the tool while your left hand does the curling. So if you are very uncomfortable with that, it might take a little bit of practice, but basically to curl your hair always away from your face, you're doing it yourself, the barrel always has to be facing down. So it has to be like this. There's no other way to do it. If you if you held it like this, it would like it would be impossible. So it always has to be either like this for this side of the face or like this, but it has to be upside down. Um, so that's just like a little tip. Uh, I lost this piece, but that's just a little tip on how to curl away from your face and just make sure since it is upside down, the only place for your hair to go is down. We're gonna curl this bang and see how, see how we do with this bang over the first one that I have to go fix now. This seriously is like a hybrid between a wand and a curler which I didn't even know could exist. But that's the look that I'm getting from this tool and I really love it. I cannot wait to fluff these curls out and see what it looks like all finished and styled. All right guys, I'm on my last curl. This was pretty fast. My arms are kind of low key tired from holding <laughs> the wand up the whole time. But this was pretty quick, so not too, too bad. All right, the whole hair is curled. I'm just gonna redo this little hot mess of a first curl we did earlier. And then I'm gonna shake my hair out and see what it looks like all styled. All right, oh, much prettier. All right, I am gonna go in first and spray the sea salt texturizing spray. It's very, very liquidy for a texturizing spray. All right, all I'm gonna do now is flip my head upside down, tassel my fingers around in it, and then just flip my hair back. Oh, my Lanta. Look at this curl. I look like I have a natural curl in my hair, no? Like, like I know some girls that's hair like naturally looks like this, and it's just like beautiful. Um, so I'm, I'm in love with this tool. It's not quite a beach wave, but it's also not a normal curl from a curling iron and there's almost like too much volume in my hair. I'm, I'm gonna have to like brush through this and calm it down. I haven't sprayed it yet actually with anything other than this texturizing spray, which now that it's dried is adding a lot of grip to the hair. I was a little concerned when I sprayed it that it was too liquidy, um, but this is awesome. Now I'm gonna go in just to finish it out with my Infra Texture Spray by Chi, cause this also duels as like a very low, low, not even medium hold, low hold, hairspray 
and that's all I want, like, that's it. Just a drop. That's all I want. So I'm absolutely in love with this curl. I'm also glad that it's different than the wands because I was kind of concerned that I would get like such a similar curl than the normal wands that it wouldn't even be worth buying the tool. But I notice a huge difference in the curl. So I think I still have a little bit of ways to go on just improving my technique using this tool to get a smoother curl and to also avoid like any dents and stuff. So I'm gonna continue to play with it. And as I get better, I'll probably do like an updated tutorial in like six months or so. But overall, I am so, so happy with how my hair turned out. Now I want to figure out some place to go just so I can show it off. Um, but anyways, it was a success. Definitely suggest this one to y'all. I really love the way this curl turned out and it just takes a little bit of getting used to. As y'all saw, I just redid that first curl um, to kind of make it look as pretty as the other curls after I figured out what I needed to do to get it to be a little cleaner. So I will link this curler down below, the pearl curler. I'll also link their texturizing spray below and I will link their paddle brush below. Um, I'll also link this in for a texture spray by Chi. This is like one of my favorites. I've been using it for over a year now. It's pretty much in every single hair tutorial video I do. Cause like I said, it has a really, really, really soft hold, but enough to where your hair is pretty much gonna last all day. Also, I was in Texas recently and this stuff saved my freaking life with the humidity there, keeping my hair calm, keeping the style held in place. So if you live in a humid state, this I would, totally suggest um, you getting, even if you're not styling your hair, just to kind of keep the shape, keep the frizzies away, keep the calmness down. So I'll link everything down below for easy access. Remember you can use that code Foxy Angelica on any of the Foxy Bay tools to save 60% off. And other than that, we're done. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you're interested in the pearl wand, I definitely love it. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a comment down below. But other than that, have a great day and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.